Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name's Kevin and welcome to my channel, The Art of Horror. Today I'll be doing some more subscriber suggested art and also a review to go along with the suggestion. Today's request is from subscriber Biolanti Beats. I hope I said that correctly, sir. Biolanti Beats is a musician and has some fantastic music on his channel. You should go check it out. Biolanti Beats quite simply put in the phrase Puppet Masters. And when I inquired with him, I think he wants me to draw some of the puppets from the Puppet Master series. It's taken me a couple of months to get around to this as I have been waiting for the release of the movie Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. So I'm going to do some digital art for you today. I'm going to try and cartoon uh, some of the puppets from Puppet Master. Whilst trying not to drop any spoilers about the movie, giving a short review about Puppet Master The Littlest Reich as well. Puppet Master The Littlest Reich is a modern reboot of the Puppet Master series and continues on some 30 years after the events of the last film. It's directed by Sunny Laguna and Tommy Wickland and stars Thomas Lennon, who you may know from the fantastic comedy show Reno 911 as Lieutenant Jim Dangle. Puppet Master The Littlest Reich brings back a lot of our old favorite puppets, as well as several new ones. The plot is pretty straightforward. It revolves around Edgar, played by Lennon, who is recently divorced. He returns to his child home to recoup his life, whereupon he discovers a mint-conditioned blade puppet in his deceased brother's closet. He then hatches a plan to sell the puppet for some quick cash, joined by his friend Ashley and his comic book nerd friend Markowitz. They take the puppet on a doomed road trip to go to a convention in Oregon to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the infamous Toulon murders. Whereupon, of course, all puppet hell breaks loose. The film is a Fangoria production and never takes itself too seriously. At no point did I feel the need to hit the fast forward button or get up and do something else, which is always a good sign of an entertaining film. I definitely wouldn't put it in the classic film basket, but for a good light popcorn flick, for a fun evening with friends for a movie night, I would recommend it. There is a lot of over the top gore, which I felt was quite nicely done. And I feel the film harks back to the 80s with a fair bit of gratuitous gore, violence and nudity. I've been hearing some reviewers slamming the film but I can't help but feel they're missing the whole spirit of what the Puppet Master series is about, as they've never been serious film, and the true stars of the film are always, of course, the puppets. I feel the special effects crew did a really good job recreating some of the older puppets and also the newer ones, and I couldn't help but give a little inner cheer when I saw my favourites pop up on screen. If you're a Fangoria or a famous Monsters of Filmland kid, and you love the previous Puppet Master movies, you won't be disappointed. And like the previous films, it is rather shallow, but it's all in good fun, with a couple of the gory gags making me laugh out loud. One in particular involving a toilet and a decapitation. So I did enjoy this film, and if you're a fan, I do recommend seeing it. The first film will always be my favorite in the series, but I do feel this reboot is on the right track and it does promise at the end to be continued. So we will be definitely seeing some more Puppet Master movies coming up. Overall, I would rate this film seven severed heads in a toilet out of 10. Grab your popcorn, put your feet up and leave your brain at the door and you'll definitely be in for a good time. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe for more and also hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified of any new videos coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Goodbye for now.